And you know, from graduations, baby showers, weddings, sea turtle releases, you name it, COVID-19 has interfered with just about anything that you can think of, even the way we date, which, we tur which turns out a lot of folks are switching to online dating, which may or may not surprise you. But experts say in this case, when getting to know that special someone, don't shy away from asking the tough questions. We're hearing it all the time these days. Stay home if you can. But health experts say too much isolation and no physical contact with the outside world can be harmful. Dealing with anxiety, stress, depression, they may be consuming more alcohol, even more drugs. Um, and in general, what happens when people start to experience loneliness and isolation, they might make decisions they might not normally make. And with fewer people out and about, it seems more are turning to online dating. I know that the use of dating apps has increased significantly since the beginning of the pandemic. And I know that a lot of people are now doing virtual video chat dates. But Hollenbog says social distancing has its place in dating, at least for right now. It gives you this unique opportunity to get to know somebody more before you're actually physically interacting with them. And for those who feel ready to take it to the next step, actually meeting face to face. Dr. Bunny Forgoin with TAMUCC has this tip. Get to know the other person's day to day habits and their health. Do they wear uh, a face mask? Do they go to big crowds? Are they into going to, you know, large crowds with the beach? Are there any comorbidities in the household? Does grandma and grandpa, do they have a heart condition? Is there obesity in the family? Or do they have asthma? And if a physical date is in the near future, Dr. Bunny says the two need to prepare a little differently. We automatically think everybody is washing their hands. You know, a friendly gesture to this new person you're just meeting. I happen to have an extra little hand sanitizer. Any type of face covering I think is very, very important. Ashley Gonzalez, 3 News.